This is something we should probably all understand and appreciate and understand the levels of power and control of various things right here. Because we are in an age right now where it seems like inoculations are a good thing and it seems like everything bad is good and everything good is bad. We're in an age of knowledge being held from people and the people are dying for a lack of knowledge. And if you don't think that the devil, Hasatan, Lucifer, whatever you want to call him, doesn't have endless power, there are two points that I'd like to point out here through Matthew 4. And one of them is in Matthew 4, 3, where the devil says, if you are the son of Elohim, I'd like to touch on that point because so many people believe that Yahushua, Jesus the Christ, is Yahuwah. And it's very clear from the beginning of the book that Yahushua and, and Yahuwah were together. They've been together for a very long time. It's a father-son combo wherever they're at, doing whatever it is they do. They were there during creation. They, they helped create it. And before Moses was, so was Yahushua and Yahuwah. So let's start off this and let's look at the enormous power of the devil. Then when Yahushua led up of the Ruach into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward hungry. So we have a the son of God who has not eaten for 40 days and 40 nights. And if you guys have ever done a fast, I think I did a 10-day fast one time and it was incredible. Um, fasting is extremely hard. Your body fights you and your mind fights you. And it is why it is something we should all be doing. But he was already broken, right? So 40 days of no food. And then all of a sudden, and when the tempter came to him, he said, If you be the son of Elohim, command that these stones be made bread. And this is Yahushua. But then he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of Yahuwah. Where does he get that at? That is from the Torah, guys. That is, he's quoting from the Torah. Then the devil took him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, if you be the son of Elohim, cast yourself down, for it is written, he shall give his angels charge concerning you and in their hands they shall bear you up lest at any time you dash your foot against a stone. Yahushua said unto him, It is written again, You shall not tempt a left ta, Yahuwah Eloheinu, Elohe Keya. And this is the, the proper, this is, this is it. This is Yahu Eloheika. It's, it's hard to say these because we're not used to these words, but this is, this is the, the name of our, our, our father, Yahuwah. Again, the devil took him up into an exceeding high mountain, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, all these things will I give you, if you will fall down and worship me. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine the thought? And I have dogs that are about to go crazy. Can you imagine the thought of that? Taking the son of God and saying, will you bow down to me? Will you do? We basically, it's the son. Can you imagine the son of God bowing down to the devil? Guys, you must understand the power that the devil has. The, the devil is able to take our Messiah and take him around, teleport him around, take him up to the top of this stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. 10. Then said Yahushua unto him, Get you hence, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship Yahu Eloheka, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Guys, this is a son, the most, this is the king, this is the, our king. We will be on our knees to our king whether we choose to be on our knees or whether we don't. One way or another, we will be down on our knees. And we have Hasatan, a creation of Yahuwah. He basically, the, he, a created being that has gone against the creator. And look at the power that he is able to take the son of God up and show him mountains and cities and you know, for all you people that think we're on a round earth, where is it on a round earth that you can go up as high as you can and so see all the kingdoms of, of the earth? You can't. It doesn't happen on a round ball. Guys, so this is the power of the devil. If you don't think the devil has full control of the world around us and the people that are all around us, it is here. These are these times. We are in these times that we should all be praying, seeking our Father, and trying to avoid Hasatan with every last bit of our being. So don't take any uh, 
Don't, don't think that the devil is nothing. The devil has, is everything. Look around you. Look at the rock stars. Look at the, look at the world. Look at the world's world people. The people that are successful are not of our father. The people that are successful are of the world. And that's what we're supposed to be separated from. And so if you are in the world, then you are doing the bidding of Hasatan. If you are not, if you are not being tempted and attacked by Hasatan, then you're already his. Torah keepers are the ones who are busted up constantly. Constantly you will find that Torah keepers are the ones that Hasatan hates. In the book of Revelations, it says that as well. It says the Torah keepers are the ones who the devil wants to wage war with. So I am proud to be one of those people, and I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, Hasatan waging war against everybody. And we need to stand tall. We need to have the word of God in our system that we are able to know of this so that we do not sin against God. That is the thing. If we don't know the Torah, if you don't know the Torah, then you don't know what sin is. And if you don't know what sin is, you're not going to be, you're not, um, there's no, you're, you just won't have any excuses, right? There won't be any excuses. You've had a Bible all your lives. We've, we've done everything but open the page of the Bible. So when judgment time comes, there will be no excuses. We have all been given a chance to see, know the truth, and to seek our Father. Hope you guys are good. I'm out.